hello everyone and happy friday yes today i wanted to come on with esme this is esme north and she is my 10 inch full body silicone baby girl and she is made by tori dolls yes i wanted to come on with her today to participate in a tag and this tag is from spring flowers the question is 10 things I love about the reborn hobby yes so I'm gonna go and change Esme but first of all I wanted to dress Esme I thought about dressing her for PJ Saturday but I changed my mind I didn't have anything purple and PJs for her because I also want to uh, dress Esme and something for lupus awareness Yes, the month of May is Lupus Awareness. And I want to dress her in something purple. So let me show you what I'm going to dress her in. It's in this two-piece set. And this is something that is handmade from Lisa's Little Lasses. This is the top. And the top is white. And it has Rapunzel in a purple dress. And she have all that long golden hair yes and the diaper cover is the color purple so i thought this would be something appropriate for lupus for this month and also uh let me see she's going to wear one of these frill socks now these are a few frill socks that i had sized down for uh both esme and also chloe uh one is bigger than the other because esme feet is bigger than chloe's feet <laughs> yes all right so that's what she's going to wear. Something else I wanted to say that uh, slipped my mind. Oh, yes. I don't personally know anyone that has lupus uh, personally. But in our Dolly community, I do know of one person that has it. And um, I'm going to take off this onesie off of Esme because that uh, the top doesn't require a uh, undershirt yeah so she's not gonna wear the undershirt so this is going to be for I think also for Sunday's best it just be an early Sunday best yeah because it's 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 like a little dress outfit yeah all right so let me start my tag and again my tag is by uh, spring flowers you can check her out on youtube her channel name yes it is spring flowers so 10 things i love about the reborn hobby let me get started all right let me just go ahead and freshen up as my little pampas so number one the dolls <laughs> yes the dolls uh, yeah i love the dolls and um, the variety of dolls in the community yeah because we have the vinyl reborn dolls uh, we have the vinyl baby reborn dolls we have the toddler reborn dolls we have silicone baby dolls partial silicones and on and on yes so i i do love the variety of dolls Okay, number two, the realistic look. Yes, I love that you can dress your babies and you can pose your babies and they have that realistic look. They look like a real baby. In fact, for someone that is not uh, familiar with the doll, they can take a second look because, you know, I mean they can really be fooled to believe that these are real babies yeah so I, I i love the realistic look that you know you can have a baby doll that looks so much like a real baby it's hard to tell the difference from the naked eye yes so number three handmade unique custom orders yes okay what i mean by that handmade dolls okay 
The Reborn dolls are handmade dolls. I love the fact that you can purchase a blanket and you can have an artist reborn your baby. You can request a special skin tone, eye color, uh, where do you want hair, uh, rooted hair, where do you want a bald baby. If you want a rooted hair, you can request mohair, you can request human hair. I love that you can also make your baby so unique to where you can request special birthmarks or beauty marks. Or you can also request your artist to make you a memorial baby. You know, in case you might have lost a baby uh, very early in the womb or uh, you might have delivered a stillborn or you might have lost a child very early on uh, after birth. Yes, you can have a memorial baby uh, custom made to look like, uh, like your memorial baby. Yes, I love that. You know, you can request you can request from your artist to bring a vinyl baby to life. Not literally now, not literally, just in terms of the realistic look. Yes, I love that. Okay, number four, baby shopping. <laughs> now this is it for me. This is the um, addiction. Yes, there's an addiction and uh, and collecting these babies and there's also an addiction and baby shopping yes like buying the cute outfits accessories let me tell you I I mean honestly I enjoy baby shopping so much that I can turn down a special gift for myself <laughs> in order to purchase a uh, in order to go dolly shopping, yes, in order to purchase uh, 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 a new wardrobe for my babies, yes, or even to purchase a new baby, yes, I, I love that, okay, and I love all the accessories, I love the fact that you could collect the bottles, you could collect uh, the lovies, uh, blankets, Yes, all that good stuff. The little shoes. And I'm addicted to the little shoes also. <laughs> yeah, so I, I love it all. Uh, number five. Making videos. Role playing. Yes, I love to role play with my babies. I do. I enjoy that. But let me tell you, I um, honestly, I don't, I don't role play off of camera. So that's what I love about making the videos. I love the fact that. I can uh, make my babies a fake bottle of milk. I can sit down and I can uh, role play myself feeding the babies, dressing the babies. Yes, I love that. I truly enjoy that. And off of camera, that is something that I don't do. Now, what I do do off of camera is I would change my baby's outfit if I need to like if the baby is wearing something uh, like that's a dark color and I think that maybe that baby have been you know have worn that a little too long I would get up and change the outfit or just leave the baby in like t-shirt and pampers but um but I might I might spend maybe five minutes with the baby off of camera. Yeah, so I love the fact that whenever I spend time with my babies, it's on video. Yes, I'm filming myself as I talk to you. I'm making a video of my baby. So I really, really enjoy it. And like I said, if it wasn't for making the videos, I would not interact uh, I would not interact as much as I do with my baby.
So I really enjoy the fact that I can enjoy my babies on video. Okay, number six, getting to know the mummies and daddies in the community. Now, um, I, I don't know very much dads in the community. I know, I would say three dads in the community that I'm subscribed to and that I follow, but I don't know them personally. And um, I think one is subscribed to me. I, I don't, the other two I doubt is subscribed to me, but I am subscribed to them and I, I do follow their channel. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but I love the fact that I can get to know so many persons in the community. I've made really good friends. There are certain persons that I communicate with like, um, away from YouTube that I communicate with on Instagram privately or on Facebook privately. Yes. Yeah, so I, I do love that. Uh, let me see. Next. Number seven, Dolly meetups. Now I have never uh, met up on a Dolly meetup, but it is a goal of mine. It is something that I would love to do one day. I just love the idea that it is an option. It is something that I can do one day and I would love to, I would love to get to get to meet the get to meet uh, the mummies in the community. Yes. Okay, next question, not question, number eight, the doll shows. Again, I've never attended a doll show, but it is a goal of mine. It is something that I would love to do one day. Yeah, so just knowing that, I, you know, one day I can work towards it, you know, it, it, it's, it's something that I'm looking forward to. I would, I can tell you if I ever get a chance to attend a doll show, I would take only one baby and I would plan to bring back one. Yes, because just in case I don't find a baby that, um, uh, I may not find a baby that I would like to bring home. Not that I don't find a baby. I might find a baby, but maybe it might be out of my price at the time. I might have to go home and budget how I'm going to work it out. Who knows? But what I'm saying is if, if, I, if I'm not able to bring a baby back home at the time, at least I'll still have a baby with me. So I definitely would want to take one. I don't want to take more than one. Uh, I would want to take one. And I love the idea that I can pack my baby's bag I can pack different outfits. Uh, I can uh, meet up with the with, with the mummies, and we can do things together. We can go out. We can go shopping together. Yeah. So I it is something that I'm looking forward to, that I can also meet all the mummies. That's the, that's at the doll show. And number nine, the love for each other in the community. Yes, I love that. The community that the love of these dolls brings the community close together on a personal level to where you get to know the dolly mummies personally. You get to meet up with them. You get to um, get to know them on a personal level. If you experience some tragedy in your life, you can ask for prayers. I love that we can do that because we know prayers does make a difference. Um, I love that we can pull together if there's a, a tragedy that we can help one another in the community. I, I, I love that. I, I, I love that. Uh, number 10, the hobby attracts collectors and non-collectors. Yes, I'm here. Um, I'm talking and I need to brush Esme here. Yes, I love also that there are collectors and also persons who just enjoy the hobby and, 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 and don't even collect the dolls. Yes, because um, I've met a few persons that follow me and uh, that are su subscribed to my channel and they don't have any uh, babies 
they just enjoy the hobby they watch the videos and they comment and they're a part of the community and I love that yeah so that's it everyone <laughs> look at little Esme she is such a joy <laughs> yeah she is such a joy so there she is dressed uh, for Sunday's best and also lupus awareness and I'm also participating in the tag by spring flowers yeah so that's it everyone so i'm just fixing her little i'm trying i'm wondering like which socks is this this might be chloe's socks because i think that's chloe's socks let me try this different because i have them sized down and as my feet yeah that's that's chloe's socks <laughs> as my feet is a little bit bigger this is as may's socks Yeah, and that just was waking me. I have to change this. These these are Chloe's socks. It's been so long since the girls wore this frill socks that I forgot which one belongs to which. Yeah. So that's it, everyone. And I love that this little outfit is something that you can wear casual or dress. You can dress it up. You can add like the little frill socks. You can also add like a headband. And um, I didn't do the headband. I would have preferred to um, if I had probably a purple headband. But, um, but I don't mind not having the headband. She still looks pretty much dressed for Sunday's best. Yeah. So thank you all so much for watching and thank you so much Spring Flowers for the tag and I welcome more tags. So thank you all again and you have a super great day. Bye bye.